Ryan Lochte is ready to race for redemption. It's all paid off for Lochte, who's going to win Olympic gold in the 400 IM. After winning his sixth career Olympic gold in the 2016 Rio Games, Lochte lost both fans and sponsors when he exaggerated claims of an armed robbery. A Brazilian court eventually dismissed its case against him, but the damage to Lochte's reputation was done. You're a villain to a lot of folks yeah. in 2016. Yeah. What was that like for you personally? It was hard. It got to points where um, I would wake up crying. And I was like, man, I just wish I could just disappear, go on a remote island and just not see anyone. Why was it so hard? I was a role model. Kids looked up to me. They were like, I want to be like you. And then reading some of the comments, uh, it was, I looked up to you and now I don't. It, that hurts me. Uh, it hurt me inside. And I didn't want to be that person. So how'd you turn it around? I'm a family man now. Um, I'm, a, I'm a husband. I'm a father, which never in a million years I thought I'd be a father. Last year, Lochte married his longtime fiance, Kayla. The couple have a two-year-old son, Caden, and infant daughter, Liv. My wife, she's a rock star. Uh, she helped me out a lot. She was like, you got to keep fighting. This is not who you are. Um, you got to show everyone that who the real Ryan Lochte is. But Lochte wasn't out of turbulent water yet. Last year, this Instagram post of a vitamin B12 injection landed him a 14-month suspension from swimming. The substance is approved, but the amount and the IV method are both prohibited. How many times have you been suspended from the sport? Twice. So since 2016, up until about, like, what, four months ago. And after a late night running with police in August 2018, Lochte was forced to confront another longtime struggle, alcohol. When did you discover that the drinking was part of the problem? About a year ago. If I was, like, keep going down this destructive path, that I was going to end up something tragic. I checked myself into rehab. I don't care to go out and party to be the loud one anymore. What have you replaced it with? <laughs> this. <laughs> Holding a baby. <laughs> the old man in the middle. Two months ago, the newly clean and focused 35-year-old got back into the pool for U.S. Nationals and dominated. Blocky is going to do it! outracing his rivals to take gold in the 200-meter individual medley. Welcome back, Mr. Lochte. Were you at all surprised by your performance? When my daughter was born, training kind of started slipping away. So I went to fast food, and I started eating just everything. And so when I swam nationals, I swam 22 pounds overweight. Really? Since then, I've lost 17 pounds. Um, my swimming, my times that I'm doing in practice are things that I've seen back when I was at my peak in 2012. A lot of guys after 2016 would have said, I'm good. And they would have swum off into the sunset. <laughs> yes, but that's not me. I want more. I also want to show my kids that no matter what, no matter how many times you get knocked down, that you can get up and you can keep fighting. What would uh, winning a medal in Tokyo with your kids in the stands watching, what would that mean to, to you? If I really think about it, I mean, I'm going to start getting teary eyed. It will be the best thing ever, being able to get a medal and have my family in the stands. It's quite the journey. Yeah.